Good evening, you are welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Yes, ahead of PM Modi's address to a joint session of the US Congress, two Muslim Congress women from the US Democratic Party announced that they won't be attending PM Modi's speech as Modi's government has repressed religious minorities. You are showing a wrong picture of India under your hate agenda, former vice chairman of the National Commission for Minorities, Atif Rashid said in a and reply to Ian Omer's tweet. I belong from religious minority of India but I live freely with my religious freedom and religious identity in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's India. I have equal share in every resource here. I have the freedom to speak whatever I want in India, Rashid wrote. I also have the freedom to write what I want in India. I am sorry to say you are showing a wrong picture of my India under your hate agenda. Stop spitting poison out of your mouth, Atip Rasid added. Young Umar and Rasida Talib announced boycott of PM Modi's address. Aro the joint session of the US Congress as PM Modi is on a three day historic state visit to the US. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Government has repressed religious minorities, emboldened violent Hindu nationalist groups and targeted journalist human rights advocates with impunity. I will not be attending Modi's speech. I will be holding a briefing with human rights group to discuss Modi's record of repression and violence, Ian Omar's wrote. It is simple that Modi has been given a platform to our nation's capital, his long history of human rights abuses, anti-democratic actions targeting Muslims and religious minorities and censoring journalists is unacceptable. I will be boycotting Modi's joint address to Congress, Rashida Talib wrote. A total of 75 Democratic Senators and members of the House of Representatives signed a letter sent to US President Joe Biden asking Biden to raise human rights issues with PM Modi. We do not endorse any particular Indian leader or political party that is the decision of the people of India. But we do stand in support of the important principles that should be a core part of American foreign policy, said the letter led by Senator Chris Van Hollen and Representative Pramila Jaipal. BJP's Amit Malviya questioned Congress toolkit behind the letter of the 75 Democrats and said all of them have dubious credentials after Rahul Gandhi's recent visit to the US where he was hosted an organization closely aligned to the Jamaat and ISI held closed door meetings with associates of George Soros and was reportedly in a clandestine confabulations with foreign agencies now a letter written by a bunch of US legislators with devious credentials is the new arsenal in Congress toolkit. How long will they lean on foreign media and money to undermine the will of the people? Malviado. Vietnam's report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.